This is Division I baseball this year. This heat map here, so for those of you that are not watching on YouTube, I am showing a heat map of all 95-plus miles an hour pitches right down the middle in 2024 in Division I baseball. The weighted on-base average, or WOBA, was 259. So for those of you that aren't familiar with WOBA or weighted on-base average, it's on the same scale as on-base percentage. So if you know what a good on-base percentage is, you know what a good WOBA is. So 259, that would be a horrendous on-base percentage for a hitter, which means that is very good for the hitter. Or sorry, very good for the pitcher. 95 plus miles an hour, literally right down the middle, the WOBA in Division I baseball is 259. Now this other graph, you're on the right not graph, but this other heat map is showing all fastballs this year that are around the perimeter of the strike zone. So every location, but right down the middle, but still inside the strike zone. I have it broken down by velocity. So pitches that are 87 to 90 miles an hour around the perimeter of the strike zone have a WOBA of 327. So a lot higher than 259. 91 to 94 gets better down to 291, but it's still not better than literally 95 plus right down the middle. And now when we get to 95 plus, and now you're going to the edges with 95 plus, now the WOBA is 224. So it is a consistent progression and drop off. The lower your VLO, and the performance from a weighted on base average standpoint. Now I could even break this down for those of you that like more traditional stats. If you like batting average, I don't have them right in front of me, but I did look at this when I was researching this. It's the exact same progression with batting average. So the point of this is velocity matters. Is it all that matters? No, of course not. But for a lot of players, this is the missing link for them. This is what is holding them back from getting opportunities. So today we want to help you with that. We want to help you with ideas of how you can train it, what is a smart way to do it. We'll talk about our own experiences of how we have trained it and had success stories, maybe some things to watch out for, and hopefully leave you in a better place than where you started.